The Last Campfire is a puzzle adventure game. The game has some good puzzles, and the graphics of this game is excellent. Here is the full gameplay. There is a place where the lost embers go. As their light begins to fade. Ember ran because standing still made them feel like the wall glistened. Ember felt so afraid and alone that it was a relief to find someone to talk to. Ember froze, almost too frightened to look away when they noticed a small satchel. felt heavy. Ember looked inside. The statue shone brightly in the light. Ember noticed something wrong. There was a round space where something used to fit. To Ember's delight, the golden statue slid perfectly into place.
Ember left, feeling sorry for the stranger now alone. The stairway opened into a dark forest. Ember could feel fear taking over. They'd washed up alone, somewhere very unfamiliar. Ember felt like they were being watched. As Ember approached, the flames seemed to call out. With a feeling like falling, the forest fell away. Ember felt lost in darkness and ruin. Caged flame stoked new hope in Ember. was almost within reach. The flame spoke and Ember listened. The flame lingered ahead. Was it trying to escape? Or leading the way? Fire flickered into life. The ghost spoke. They will be safe here. I will warm them. Ember looked to the ghost for answers. This is a place between pla to travel through you as your but none have passed in a the forest king hold and those who dwell too long turn Again, that word, forlorn. The forlorn are those who lost their way. If you find them, send them to me and I will guide them. I am just a guide along the way to fan the flame. So many lost embers have I seen. More than I could help. Ember thought of those they loved. Those they'd left behind. There are others lost along there. Find them and I will guide them. A forlorn rests behind you, above this campfire.
The crow held its shining trophy tight. Inside was a scrap of journal. The strangers on the water went on without me. Where have I landed? Vines and thorns stretch out to trip me. The worm looked as Ember picked it up. The worm let out a little yelp. The Wanderer's Diary. Unfamiliar trees, a path overgrown. Is this a resting place? A place between places? I call out. But mine is the only voice. The broken net hung ominously around the skeleton's neck. Strangers shivered in the cold. They'd moved through such dark places. They lay down and closed their eyes. The road had stolen all warmth. The stranger blinked at Embo. Is it morning already? How long have I been asleep?
The stranger had been forgotten. They tried to follow as best they could. The stranger looked at Ember with surprise. Someone came back for me. Thank you. Barely visible through the mur- and on a small pier with barely a sound, a lonely fisherman sat. The stranger had sought their own path. They travelled roads long drowned. Solitude was all they knew. Forlorn resisted Empress' kindness. But still, Empress stayed. Stranger looked down. I pushed so many away. If I hurry, perhaps I can still find them.
the stranger was trapped in their head. Thought crowded in on them. The stranger's voice was hoarse. It's clear now, friend. I have to leave it all behind. The fisherman murmured quietly between soulful breaths. The gloom was choking. The fisherman felt so useless and alone. Sitting out there every day by the pond. Only the dark water to hear him talk. In that darkness, a glimmer flickered. A thought beating like a drum. A thought that went round and round. It all started with a frog. Every day by the pond, a constant reminder. For a brief moment, the fisherman struck. The fisherman spoke soft, saw him grow from a tad, spent every day side by side. So much better. Catches him before. Oh, it makes me feel useless someday, the fisherman sighed. I've wasted. Ember could see the old man struggling with their thought. Thanks for listening to me, Ram. You've got a good heart. If you need help catching anything, you just ask. The fisherman noticed the broken net Ember was carrying. Let me have a look. See what I... With a silk... With each knot he tied. A net... Here you go. Good as new. The frog stared at Embo, its belly rumbling. The gurgling of water had a deafening heartbeat, but then... Fog returned Ember's good deed by leading them to a lost forlorn.
The stranger stood alone. So much had been pushed away. They just wanted to rush on. But their way had trampled others. Now they were ahead. With no friends to turn to. The stranger spoke hesitantly. Is this... another chance? Ember found the Wanderer's diary. The oily smell of frogs. They know more than they will say. They watch me watching them. He was nestled, but, but it was just out of reach. The old gate was locked. Ember placed the key in the lock and slowly began to turn it. Stranger asked Ember to leave them be. They had plunged their soul beneath dark water. They could not swim free from its chains. Tides ebbed, washing over old walls. A safe harbour emerging from the inky depths. The 
Mother reached out her hand. Stranger met Ember's eyes. The two shared a moment of silence. Ghost said, You have done all you can, little one. Your journey lies ahead. Little one, your journey ahead will not be easy. The path to leave this place is blocked. I will guide others to follow after you clear the way. Others like me who can help. You will always be welcome here in the forest. Amber uncovered a journal entry. Dusk brings the longest shadows. The lanthorn comforts me. Soft melodies from home. The wild things listen. Yellow. The guard joked, another scrawny ember from the forest, and with a bag looking all nicely and shiny, both guards started looking at ember with a deathly stare. The guard leered, the forest king would like you, little scruff. Yes, come a little closer, let us see what's in that bag. We guard the door to the forest king. Oh yes. We decide who gets to see the king. The forest king will want to see... Yes, yes, come this way. of foreboding overcame Ember. <coughs> Ember was terrified but tried not to show it. The giant's bear do not fear. The bird is a friend. Ember wanted to feel safe. Oh little Ember, birds won't hurt. Birds will take another under our wing. Stay safe in the nest, you'll never turn. Ember was still afraid. Is it the night that scares you, little one? See? Night birds will make the world less frightening. It wasn't only the night that frightened Ember. The bird was disappointed. Stay? 
No need to help, silly forlorn. Hope is false. Hope hurts little ones in the end. The forest king spoke so gently to Embo. Perhaps they could rest here for a while. It was hard to know what else to say. Clever little, you will stay. You search for hope no more. Now take this feather. Feather means Embo is one of us now. Birds keep little ones safe. Birds should never leave the nest. God seemed pleased. Clever scruff sticking with us. I can hold that back for you. Leave him alone. Yeah, one of us. And we all share bags and things. The guard squawked. Stand back, don't come any closer. Nothing down there but sadness and terror. Go see the Forest King. He'll set you straight. Got your first feather, I see. Best prove yourself, Squ- Stand watch here. Promise you won't let anyone pass. Ember didn't like deceiving the birds. But what choice did they have? They couldn't rest in that place forever. They had to keep going. Hidden away was a scrap of journal. There are memories here. Bound in rock, I hear their voices echo in the ancient stone. I find foot Ember hurried away from the birds. The mist hung close to Ember, hiding them. The forest king seemed frightened. The birds crew Ember would rather risk turning forlorn than become like them. Ahead there would be others to help, and maybe a way to move on. Ember found a scrap of journal. I heard them coming. The snap of a twig, a flutter of birds. A figure dashing through the undergrowth. Another like me? Hidden inside was the Wanderer's journal. Another face at last. A catcher of fish resting by a pond. We work together, silk and tar and aching fingers. My boat floats once more. It looked like a map, but pieces were missing. The piece formed a new route. It was the same place as before, but how? An eerie scene, like a moment frozen in time. Inside was a secret diary entry. Pink, orange, red, brown, leaves gently dancing to the ground. Crunch, crackle, lovely sound fall into a giant mound. Gradually more of the map was revealed.
A lost message was inside. The mist is thick. One way blurs into another. Where do I end? The section of bridge had somehow been ripped from its foundations. It was like the map had been broken on purpose. Ember found a secret note from the Wanderer. Something beckons. This place is not home. I trace the map. The mist revealed a secret place. Was it hidden on purpose?
the statue spoke. Just as it once moved the hearts of the forlorn, the instrument you now hold has the power another before you to great effort to hide it deep within this riddle. The lanthorn began to glow. Ember found a lost message. The smell of hot broth and hearty stew wafts across the swamp. By the cook's pot I meet another. They are on their own path, but we promise to meet again. Inside was a scrap of journal. In the orchard, I meet the stranger from the cook's fire. A stranger no longer. Together we fill their satchel. Food and memories for the road ahead. There was one last place to reach on the map. The Wanderer's Diary. An ancient throne sits empty. No one remains to guide. Ember felt a great relief to be out of the mist. Ember didn't mind getting muddy. The slide was such fun. The fruit was giving off a sickly sweet smell. Ember chuckled. The dangerous plant was no match for a hungry piggy.
A hideous odor filled the air. And suddenly, the reason was obvious. The pig inhaled a giant snort of air. Wait, what's that delicious? Ember shuffled nervous. Other embers fed me treats, but then stopped. You feed me now. It chewed a light green in its belly. Surprising. A little sparky. But tingly in belly. But what I want is... Something more fruity. The pig would eat anything. Ember just needed to find more. Ember found the Wanderer's Diary. We stop by the warmth of another campfire. The Guardian Spirit provokes us, asks what we hope to resolve. I do not understand the question. My companion is silent. Ember uncovered a journal entry. Snorty piggy, simple piggy, so easily teased with fruit. They are no help until they are fed. A few grow fat, wobbling on their trotters. And with each thing it ate, the light grew even brighter. <laughs> Fruity, fresh, but what I want is something with more crunch. Perhaps if Ember could satisfy the pig, they might be more helpful. The skull was disgusting. Perhaps the pig would like it. This was the last thing Ember could find to offer. Crunchy? But what I want the pig's stomach made an almighty sound. Ember chuckled with relief at the large creature they had been so afraid of. The pig had vanished, but something moved beneath the surface. In a muddy pond, Ember thought the pig looked a lot less. The pig shouted joyously, Join me, morsel! The pig seemed happy. But Ember wasn't. Why do I consume whatever people put in front of me? I need some true nourishment, but there's none left here. But so much cooler in this muddy pond, I can finally think. Thank you, Morsel.
Ember chuckled. The dangerous plant was no match for a hungry piggy. Hidden away was a scrap of journal. Hands encircled around the evening fire, merry lanthorn tunes, singing out the promises of old. Will home be as we remember? The stranger couldn't take on more. The stranger stretched their limbs. Perhaps it is not too late after all. Ember found a scrap of journal. The lanthorn wards off ghosts and fear. It shapes the world as we wish it. I urge my companion to rest, but still they stare into the fire. The pot had turned cold, the fire had died. Nothing the cook made felt good enough. Endlessly stirring the same tasteless pot. I couldn't focus, sleepwalking through the days. Aimed inwards was a swirl of thoughts. In the eye of the storm, a fragile flicker. They wanted to serve something perfect. The praise of others was hot, and couldn't hold on. felt numb and hurt all at once.
The cook spoke. I must have lost myself for a moment. It's supposed to be my, but it's not ready. A wonderful smell. What? You look starving, poor. Have a little taste. It was the most beautiful. I know. Ember wished the cook would believe them. Oh, I'd forgotten. But it's not ready. The cook stirred their soup, looking. Soon, maybe. Oh, I used to love it, but. It, nothing has flavor. I'm stuck. If you know what you want, I can try. But I really need something for me. If it was still standing. Oh, the cook struggled. Pigs have got planted every. All my hard work. Take the key and have a look yourself. I can't bear to. See if anything is left. But I promise you. There won't be. Hidden inside was the wondrous journal. Our feet are weary, the hours long. There will be much to do when we arrive. I tell my companion of those waiting at home. They do not seem to know what to say. The stranger was afraid. They couldn't see what lay ahead. Ember saw their own fear reflected in the stranger.
The darkness hungered for them all. Ember spoke hesitantly. How do you continue, never knowing if we'll reach the end? Inside was a secret diary entry. The satchel is almost bare, our supplies exhausted. The taste of a good meal is not... Ember came upon another campfire lost in the wilderness. It looked long cold, but ready to be lit. The ghosts, I will warm them. Ember looked to the ghost for answers. This is here hope was, you must not lose hope. Or you, Ember thought of those they loved, those they'd left behind. There are others, Lot, find them and I will guide them. Down steps to your east, travel the path south. Watching a pig grow unhappy, a forlorn lost hope. A lost message was inside. Our music crafts our path, bridging over any we pass. My companion's hand clutches mine. We dart like fireflies through the swamp. Ember found a secret note from the Wanderer. A memory laps at the edge of my dreams. A time before the water, someone I wish to stay for. We must hurry home. The 
stranger had come so very far. They felt the air beneath them, the distance ever widening. a long way down.
resolve stirred within the stranger. Just a few more steps. It can't be much further. Ember found a lost message. To see hope fade in those you care for. The harder I squeeze, the quicker it slips away. Through the mist, Ember could feel they were being watched. stranger knew they had to move on. The path behind was forever closed. see it all. To leave now seemed unbearable. The stranger stared past Ember. I'm almost ready. Let me sit a little longer. I will catch up. I promise. Inside was a scrap of journal. Less and less grows here. I dare not go in the caves alone. The spiders whisper. Their cobwebs glitter. I am not sure I am ready.
stranger puzzled over their journey. Some steps felt effortless. by unseen. Gratefully, the stranger said, Friend, thank you. We all help each other along the path. The orchard gate was locked and needed a key. Ember placed the key in the lock and slowly began to turn it. The cook was right. The pigs had destroyed everything. Ember chuckled. The dangerous plant was no match for a hungry piggy. The frog seemed nervous, but also relieved to see Ember. They told Ember that the birds had let all the pigs in and that the pigs had eaten every all whilst the birds watched and laugh, except to one precious thing the frog had the frog offered the lotus seeds to Ember. They pleaded for Ember to take the lotus seeds as the frog knew how important good ingredients were in hard times. The Wanderer's Diary Frogs play at the feet of fallen statues. Simple, splashy, happy little hoppers they seem content in the home they've made. The stranger closed their eyes and let the fog overwhelm them. Soft, gentle fog. It held them like a vice.
the mist could not be pushed, would not be fanned away. The stranger spoke. The fog didn't choose me, it just was. I hope it never closes on you, friend. Ember found the wondrous diary. The earth resists my wishes. The lanthorn will not answer when I blow. I must be rid of it. I hide the wretched instruments deep in a riddle. The stranger couldn't face themself. It just hurts to be outshone.
easier just to turn aside. The stranger searched Ember's face. Is there hope for me, do you think? Will I make it? The stranger said, Magical sound? Let me tell you, I play a good lanthorn. Ember uncovered a journal entry. I dock my boat at the final harbour. Soft drips drip dripping over slick black rock. Something hisses from the dark. Hello there. I can't believe I've never cooked with Ember felt happy seeing the What a lovely please try some. Help yourself. Be well little and do remember me if you are ever hungry. Thank <laughs> you. 
The pig was joyous. My insides feel I did not dream we will plant a god compliments to the chef. You have done all you can, little one. You have done well. I will clear the path ahead for you. You have seen another watching over you. They know the secrets of this place. Seek them out. The forlorn was cold to the touch, different to the others. The stranger spoke. Thank you for coming to help. I can't let another in right now. Ember shared a moment with the forlorn and hoped they would find what they needed. The painting was the two embers shone clearly in the daylight now, their journey ahead. Hidden away was a scrap of journal. The snake is drawn to the light. They are not so fearsome after all. I think they mean no harm. Well now, well now, we've been looking everywhere for you. Fun, fun, oh. Hope you have a good excuse for running. Ember's heart sank. Ember told the birds about all they had seen in the marsh. Please save your made-up story. Oh yes, yes, tell the lies to the king. Ember felt nervous standing before the king. Frustrate. You must rest now. You give false hope. Try and fail and hurt. This is... Ember could feel the forest king looking right through them. This end. There no more. Why not stop? Let go of this. You must stay. No more foolish hope. Last chance. Take key now. Make sure gates are locked. Let no more in. Let no more out. Ember took the key. What choice did they have?
Yeah, this re don't betray the forest king again. The crossroads gate was locked. Ember placed the key in the lock and slowly began to turn it. Eagerly, Ember left the birds behind, glad to be free. Ember was at the end of the smell of stick like it had once been flooded, but now was bone dry. The stranger said, Friend, this crab, together we can. I've got a plan. Been waiting for some. You help me, and I'll help you. Try lowering the crab over here with the chum in that bucket. He's not got eyes in the back of his head. Ember found a scrap of journal. In the dark, I slip and stumble, land hard upon my knee. Without thinking, I reach for an absent hand.
Hidden inside was the Wanderer's journal. Alone I searched, I swallowed hesitation, and at last the doorway opened, but beyond there was nothing. I did not understand. Inside was a secret diary entry. And so it goes. We try, we fail, there is nothing more. Home is not as I wished. Hope, do not believe in false hope. to help get the... But I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. The bellows breathed life into the fire beneath the boiler. But it would take more air to fully stoke the fire. of those valve things. Don't get in trouble. What a satisfying rush the damn water burst. Ember really did hope they wouldn't be in trouble.
lost message was inside. The embers rush past in the blur. They must not know what awaits. Poor oh, foolish little embers. A few trip and falter, grasping for a reason to stop or turn around. With everything flooded again, Ember wondered if now they could reach the entrance of the cave. Freed from the mud, the boat looked inviting. The boat was a perfect fit for Embo. It felt like they were on the right path at last. Ember found a secret note from the Wanderer. A few embers flock together. Together we linger. Together we could be a beacon. A lighthouse. The passageway was dark and eerily silent, and Bill wondered why the dam had been blocked. The gate, oh, what was the gate keeping locked away?
Ember found a lost message. I cannot move on, but I can protect others. We would be comfortable here, happy one day. Embo had found another unlit campfire at the heart of the cave. Inside was a scrap of journal. A rusty bucket rattles in the depths, a meddler from a bygone time. The stranger muttered, well, I'm not falling for that again. Strangers, the forest king often maybe I should just take it. in the distance, and hoped that it was a trick of the light. Stranger had misplaced a memory. He tried to remember but found more voids.
Only the shape of the thought remained. The stranger looked around fearfully. I stayed in the nest too long. Ember felt pity for the skeleton, without a flower to mark their grave. Ember had nothing to offer. Ember felt pity for the skeleton, without a flower to mark their grave. Ember had nothing to offer. The stranger whispered, Creepy, that one. Yeah, watching you. Specifically you. Fire flickered into life. The ghost spoke, I will warm them. Ember looked to the ghost for answers. This is the cave of regret. Fear would not allow hope to find a perch. You must not lose hope. For you too, Ember thought of those they loved, those they'd left behind. There are others lost to look. Find them and I will guide them. Not far from this campfire, a path runs north. Where the pathway ends, the forlorn lies helpless. His body slithered between the rocks, seeming to never end. The stranger was wary, coiled and tense. The dark had gifted them friends in the past. The dark had stolen much more. Would this new light do the same?
stranger whispered, I'm so tired. Do you know the way? The Wanderer's Diary. No more lanthorn tunes. No more confrontation. Hazy faces put aside. None need face the end. The stranger was tired of pretending. They'd never have made it on their own. had always favoured them. They deserve to make it this far? Stranger spoke simply. Thank you. said, speak and I will listen. Take the water to the east. In an open corner, a forlorn lies unmoving.
terror gripped Ember suddenly. Fear overwhelmed them. The plank was all that remained of Ember's boat. They sat for a moment. Perhaps the Forest King was right. There was no hope here. A discarded builder robot. The poor thing was rusted in place. The builder's thoughts were stuck in a loop. Turning slowly to rust, only the echoes for company. Disconnected gears in their head turning round and round. Each unshared moment went the same. Lost and uncared for was a dim glow. The years of loneliness had warped the builder's feelings. Perhaps they should be alone. Time spent with others felt like a false memory. The soundless days measured piece by piece. I'm ever so afraid. Keep talking to me, please. My eye. The feathered ones did this to me. It's been so long since I've seen anyone. Since I've talked to anyone. I, I can feel the... An outside place. It's okay if you don't want to have... It would be so nice to see what you look like. It was wonderful. Don't forget me, please. The others never came back.
Ember found the wanderer's diary. In a forgotten clearing, I meet a stranger, but they do not respond. Motionless, their body all rock and cold. What has happened? It took a moment as they tried to fall. So that's what you look like. I don't know what I expected, but you have. A Sorry, I. It's just been so long. I've never been good at talk. You seem different. Wait, how did you get here? Oh, that's on. You'll be stuck here. The builders seem to have. You know, maybe I can help you. Exciting. It's been so long since I made some. Ember watched in amazement. Could I get your input for a moment? The scraps of broken wood and metal were being transformed. Could I get your input for a moment? Whatever the builder was making was nearly ready. Oh, it's a bit rough around the edges. It's uh, definitely seaworthy. You hate it, don't you? Ember stood in stunned silence. That is such a relief. It really warms my pistons. I'm so happy. Oh, 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 oh no. I'm not. Well, that's very kind of you. Truly, I would have. But if you see any others, perhaps ask them to visit the builder. Ember would come back if they could. Perhaps the builder just needed more time. The boat was a little unconventional, but Ember already loved it.
Ember felt pity for the skeleton, without a flower to mark their grave. Ember uncovered a journal entry. I find another encased by stone. I feel their mutterings, whispers under my skin. They are forlorn. They cannot find home. It is terrifying. The spindle was missing a handle, so Ember couldn't turn it. This terrifying shape slithered from the shop. The snake's body coiled around the forlorn like a scaly shield.
hidden away was a scrap of journal. The forlorn have entered my dreams. Their accusing voices inescapable. Ember found a scrap of journal. I kneel in the damp. Tiny stones pierce my knees. The mud soaks. Lost. Too tired to sleep. I will not be stoned. The stranger's heart was in knots. Darkness stretched on and on. With tears, the stranger said, You have reminded me, friend, the beacon.
the light acted as a beacon, drawing the snake and both swallowed their fear, feeling tiny before the enormous serpent. The forlorn was released from the coil of the snake's body. The stranger had been robbed by an icy hand. But with flicker and ash, their flame had faded. The stranger looked at their hands tearfully. I had forgotten how warm it feels. Just being. Tremendous, terrifying shape slithered from the shadow. The snake's body coiled around the forlorn like a scaly shield.
Hidden inside was the Wanderer's journal. Damn the water. Scuttle the boats. This will be our new home. We will stay in our nest forever. The stranger was so lost. They thought they could find the way home. The road had turned another way. and coiling, lost forever. The stranger looked at Ember with relief. I tried to go back, but I just went nowhere. Time to go forward, I think.
It looked like the crystal could be turned, but the handles were retracted. The light acted as a beacon, drawing the snake and both swallowed their fear, feeling tiny before the enormous serpent. The forlorn was released from the coil of the snake's body. Inside was a secret diary entry. This is the promised home. I have nothing to resolve. Close the gates. Keep all lost souls safe. Stranger's thoughts bubbled up freely. The invitation was clear. Some thoughts were easily found. only whispered.
old feelings in a complex tongue. had much to consider. The stranger seemed grateful. I think I have to choose for myself. Ghost said, You have done all you can. Your journey is near. You have cleared. 
I will guide them after you have gone. Only the forest ask them your question. Know that if you return here, you will always be welcome. The taste of fresh air was welcoming as Ember left the caves behind. The forlorn was different. A gentle music filled Ember. They sang. I was Ember. I was bird. I was forlorn. None were my true self. I will not go back to flame. I will find another way. Ember understood and let them be. Something was wrong. Ember could feel it. It was quiet. All the birds had... There you are. You... The king is gone. Gone. What did you do? Telling lies, being Trixie? We had no troubles till this one. The king is dead. They'll be coming for us now, all of them. Who looks after us now? What does we do? I'm not a real bird, just wearing bird clothes. They're not even a real bird. Who look after them now? A lost message was inside. Feathers red and ashes white, embers shelter from the night. Still and safe and nestled tight, final hours of the fading light. There you are. The king is telling lies. We had no troubles till this one. The king is dead. They'll be coming for us. Who looks after us? What does we do? I'm not a real... They're not even a... Who look after them now? Chains and pulleys in the base of the chair. Did 
didn't feel real. The Forest King wasn't real. Broken boats were scattered on the water. The ghost spoke. Brave little one, few have made this journey. This is the last campfire. Your path ahead is clear. What you do now is yours to decide. This is the end of the path. You have helped all who can be helped. It is time to complete your own journey. A boat lies waiting, but it belongs to another. Their path will seek them out before you move on. In the clearing, Ember hoped to find answers. Behind the Forest King's puppetry was the wanderer in the, the stranger spoke. Why didn't you stop? Why not? Don't you see? This is all there is. Just what hope can there be in that? The stranger had dropped their mask. Ember knew they spoke the truth. The path goes nowhere, but we sail on regardless, slipping beyond the horizon, one after the other. I couldn't bear it. In the end, I destroyed the boats. What have I done? Slowly, the stranger withdrew. I wanted to be a lighthouse for others. How do you save others once your light has gone out? The wondrous thoughts had become twisted. Hiding every day behind a mask. Watching hopeful little ones arrive endlessly. knowing the empty path that lay ahead. Inside their dim light was a hidden pain. They had watched those they care for turn forlorn. had locked their hope away, tried to protect it. And Ember's actions had seemed a distorted mirror. The wanderer searched for words. When I reached this place, I could see the truth. This is all that there is. There is nothing. How do you face that? I'm not ready.
I turned back, tried to stop the others. Built a little nest. You hope, you try, you fail, and then nothing more. I thought I was saving them, that they would lose hope if they knew. But without an end, they lost hope anyway. The wanderer took a breath. I thought, I thought it would lead somewhere, mean something. Ember paused. So many places the path had, so many others whose paths had crossed their own. After everything I've done, I don't deserve to move on. Only my boat remains. Take my oar. Finish your journey. Leave this place. Ember knew the end lay ahead. Were they any more ready than the Wanderer? There is a place where the lost embers go as their light begins to fade. 